Okay, uh, here we roll. Um, I already did this one, damn it, but this is the whole, I keep dealing with this. Uh, real quick, because this is the first of uh, probably three parts, I would think. Yeah, for sure, and it leads into one of the biggest and best, so all with the same girls. Um, I think, I believe it was the first time that Tony and I flew home at Christmas, so we moved in together in the summer, we'll check data, and then um, you went probably back to Rochester and I don't know, where would you went? Tahoe, where the hell, we, Tahoe, I don't even remember. We'll, we'll talk about that. Um, and Tony, I flew back home and we flew together. We flew early in the morning and we flew uh, to Phoenix and then to Detroit. We landed in Phoenix, not many people on the flight. Tony and I were in the back row and we waited and waited and one girl, we're waiting forever. And finally one girl scurries on the plane. So we obviously were waiting for her. She comes back, to, sits right in between Tony and I, really pretty young thing uh ended up being a sorority girl from arizona state in tempe so she listened to tony and i tell story after story after story cousins hollywood you who knows sex drugs and rock and roll um but regardless she was enthralled and she said hey could i come maybe and stay in hollywood with you guys could you guys put us up for a little bit me and my sorority sisters and i said um yeah i think we can work that out so then our vacations, came back. I don't believe you were in town yet. I'm, I know you weren't. Um, but Tony and I came back, and right away that girl called, and right away they were there, like, that weekend. And there were, like, eight, maybe more, sorority girls from Arizona State. None of them were pretty. Um, so that was craziness, uh, and I'll get to where it leads to. But the meeting of the girls, getting to to home and staying there, and then uh, step two, step three coming up. Thank you. See